in Canada will you find the world's first commercial rooftop greenhouse. So what does that mean exactly? Well, it means that the farmers don't have to worry about drought, flooding or snow. It's a 30,000 square foot project that's taking the green roof to a whole other level. The CBC's Alison Northcott takes us to Montreal. Like most farms, work at Lufa Farms begins at dawn, harvesting rows of vegetables. But this is no ordinary farm. There are no tractors, no manure, and it's a long way from Quebec's traditional farmland on the roof of an office building in Montreal. So we have a Boston lettuce that, that's going to be in all the baskets next week. And we all of this is grown from a vision Mohammed Hage has been nurturing for years. Exactly. And it was a very challenging project, but we knew that it was a challenge worthwhile. If we could make this work, we could potentially change the way we eat globally. There are 40 different kinds of vegetables here, nourished by rainwater and grown without the use of chemical pesticides or herbicides. I like the fact that, you know, the fruit that that I'm helping to, to produce is, uh, is going straight to somebody's table tonight, you know, and, uh, you know, it's not, it's not traveling halfway across the world. This is a trial of, of just very, very amazing colored radishes you have. After Banks rejected his idea, Hage turned to friends and family to raise the $2 million he needed to get the project off the ground. Now, with the help of technology, like its automated greenhouse and an irrigation system that recirculates the water it uses, Lufa Farms has created a sustainable way to grow food in the city. Urban agriculture in general is really becoming an industry in and of itself, um, and we're, we're definitely at the forefront of that. We want to expand it worldwide. The produce grown here feeds more than 4,000 people a week year-round, and Lufa Farms is about to open a second greenhouse to feed thousands more. You have to give him a try. <laughs> and that's just the beginning. Hage believes this is the future of farming. It is delicious. <laughs> We're just starting. Uh, it's important for us not to initiate uh, this technology, this space, but to see through that it becomes an industry and to see through that cities like Montreal become self-sufficient with their food production. And we know we can do it. It will take time, money and innovation, but the hope is that rooftops like this one will one day dot the skylines of cities around the world. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal. If you have an idea for Only in Canada, we'd like to hear from you. Just go to our webpage, cbcnews.ca slash onlyincanada, to send us your ideas, photos and videos.